Gala Games just released a brand new title called Legacy. I've put countless hours into this game to say the least since its release, so I'm going to be giving you the top 10 tricks to get above your enemies and conquer the business world. Nice. Disclaimer time, this post is sponsored by literally you, the community. Every time you guys use code Classy, it supports me. It is the number one way to get unbiased information out there because at the end of the day, if you're funded by the community, then you are by the community. So go to the link in the description, click it if you're gonna purchase anything on the Gala Game Store. I appreciate y'all and let's get back into the video. So this is a TLDR of my entire base. I've unlocked all of the current land slots that you can go ahead and unlock and the first tip actually has to do with land. So the first land you're going to be able to unlock is the Dockside. Dockside is extremely important. And when you unlock the Dockside, the first thing you're going to want to do is grab all of the factories over here and slap them all the way back. Because guess what? Your dispatches don't care about where they are going. They're always just going to go in a random direction. And by dispatches, I'm talking about these little trucks with these beautiful burgers on top of them. The second tip is having to do with burgers and cakes if you have cakes to do with the factories as you can see here all of your factories are going to have a number that says market left once you run to zero you're going to see this red little pop-up here that tells you that you need to make a new burger now when you're redesigning these burgers first off always take the burger out and click on this button here called value now value is going to show you how much your burgers are worth at any given time you're gonna get comfortable with these numbers but for the most part you don't want to go crazy with you know a zero dollar pumpkin burger you want to go ahead put your base on there get an 18 dollar little tomahawk steak don't need to make it look too pretty and once you're comfortable with your burger confirm design and boom you're done with that and an even cooler tip during competitions this is by the way very crucial you're going to right click on your factory and design product before it gets to zero because once your factory gets to zero of course you have to remake everything and it gets really awkward with having to refill everything back up however if you have a design that is almost out you can actually go ahead and design product early on take all this out and redesign this burger to not only make more money but to make a juicier uh, a meaty burger with a donut on it for $58. For some reason, they like buying it, so, you know, toots for them, and it is what it is, but, yeah, you could redesign these, and you actually get to keep the product on here, so this is absolutely crucial for competitions, uh, and let me tell you that right now. The next tip I'm going to be giving is with this little research lab. A lot of people are going to be sleeping on this little research lab, but the research lab has to be easily probably the most important building in the game. When you get into this, the first things you're going to want to research is this right here. It's going to be your burger tab or the cake tab, depending on where you are. You're going to want to go in a straight line as far as you can go, especially if you're free to play, because these are the cheapest options. It is extremely important to do this because the gourmet burger pack, the burger grill pack, the ones later on give you significant significantly more bang for your buck so you can sell those random burgers I just showed you for $60 instead of those $30 burgers that you are selling right now. And so next tip, big, big tip here has to do with the dock. If you're having trouble filling this dock in competitions, and I'm talking about the most sales competition, there is a very, very easy way to go ahead and fix this issue. Go ahead, design product, go to cost, go whatever it says one and just confirm design and send that thing. Just send it full send. Remember, you have to pay your workers too, but this is going to make it so that these burgers are going to go turbo mode on there. But even more important, right click on your factory, click on info, go down a little bit and prioritize to the dock. You're not going to want all your factories doing this because of course you still want your trucks to be going. But for the most part, when it comes to factories, the dock is easily the most important structure to getting your goods delivered. Because a lot of the time when you consistently do this and you're getting good amounts of contribution, it's going to let you do up to 80. I'm talking about 80 different burgers at a given time. And if you're freaking out about burgers being all over the place, don't worry about that. Click on info, go all the way down and click on prioritize cleaning up when you've unlocked it. When you've just started the game, you haven't unlocked these things and, uh, you know, too bad for you. For people freaking out about the uh, feature having to do with the game not running on idle, like if I just click out right here, it still runs on idle. Uh, the reason for that is because you haven't become a small business. Once you become a small business, you have to do these three events. Then you go ahead and unlock the ability to run the game on idle. So I can run the game on idle and that's kind of just 
how far that goes. Another big tip to go ahead and give has to do with houses. These houses, as you can see, are nowhere near my base. The reason for it is that it doesn't really matter. These houses are completely irrelevant. Once you unlock these leisure buildings like the pub, the cafe, the salon, um, this what is this, a movie theater? Museum, excuse me. Uh, this is the cinema. Okay, there it is. You just put them very close to your actual workers and they'll kind of do their thing. As you can see, the model, the layout I have for my actual, you know, town is that I have my factories very close to the dock and very close to my dispatch near the water side because that's where my dock is. Oh, another tip here. Once you actually fill this up, it's going to go ahead and run off. So yes, these can actually run off you know, a little bit faster than your competitors. And this is very important for like most sales competitions when you're trying to get as many sales as possible because the dock is the number one way to get sales. Sometimes it'll bug out and that's just kind of what you have to do when, you know, games release early on and it is what it is. But for the most part, that's kind of what you have to worry about in regards to that. Now, if you're trying to earn on Legacy, because that's a question I'm probably going to receive. Well, as you can see on the top right of my screen, I have this golden ticket. I have 2,355. In fact, I have been earning in this game. I've been earning somewhere around $5 in Gala every single day because I'm playing in these competitions. Now, as you can see, the entry fee is kind of crazy at this point, 500 gems. Uh, you'll be receiving somewhere around 100 gems from this building right here every single day. So you're not gonna be able to play these very often. And I feel like this is part of the play for convenience as well as play for competitiveness to keep microtransactions going in the game. It kind of makes sense, but at the end of the day, skill always reigns supreme in this game. But something even more important than skill is being in the right deed in fact i right now am in a legendary deed look at the name of this guild <laughs> but yeah i'm part of this guild it's called skull dash fx megaplex is part of the hydra heads and it's been a pleasure to play this game you know you have to make sure that you're on the highest rarity deed that you can possibly get trust me there are plenty of people giving these deeds out and you need a deed to go ahead and even play the game so make sure that you take advantage of these opportunities and get in the best possible deeds so you can earn the most amount of tickets next thing i have to give this has to do with upgrades in the game you'll see these rewards here every time you get to certain milestones always prioritize these i don't care if it says you have to pay bills paying bills is actually a good thing your workers tend to work much harder because of that and depending on how you time it amazing for you now when you get to these upgrades you're going to see things like super upgrade tap power don't get those, okay? All you need to get is the ones that are like either ultra upgrade storage, depending on if you need it, or super upgrade worker capacities if you can handle it. That for the most part is all you need to worry about. You have to always prioritize automation versus, you know, you go ahead and play the game constantly because I don't even need to play the game at this point for the most part, other than having to change the little factory because I decided to put a bun. Maybe I'll put this bun this time. Sell it for a buck, it's fine. I'll go ahead and, uh, and finish that later. But for the most part, always prioritize automation and another tip i wanted to go ahead and give has to do with competitions if you're going to be playing competitions well then you're going to have these warehouses that you'll unlock later on in the game make sure you unlock as many warehouses as possible very important i believe that fluffy garden it's fifteen thousand dollars will give you one i'm not sure if parkland gives you one but it might give you one i know that at some point you you unlock another warehouse so you get three warehouses you always want to stock them up fully with this right here this is produce and you earn it from your or refinery right here. It's the second building in the process of actually making a burger. What you're going to go ahead and do before competitions is you're going to prioritize to the warehouse so that you can make sure that you stockpile on a bunch of products. This is extremely important, especially in events like most sales and most revenue generated, because you're going to have 80 different burgers having to go into this dock that cost like I don't know, 10 produce, it gets really expensive very quickly. So it's important that you stockpile beforehand 1,500 of these and you make sure that all of those are going straight into the burger maker because that is the best way to go about playing the game. And so if you enjoyed these tips, I love you, but always choose business over decorations because this is the next tip in the list as you can see here i've got richmond over here he's a small business maverick he goes ahead gives you the juiciest tips always choose business over decorations i mean look at how much space i have i have space all day to go ahead and put plenty of different structures 
on my city. And so that's going to be this video. I hope you enjoyed these very quick tips on legacy. Hopefully it makes you win some competitions. If it did, don't forget to leave a like on this video for the value I'm giving you because we are absolutely dominating the leaderboards right now on legacy. Until the next time, stay classy. And that's all.